Ward Ford singing from Central Valley, California. This is the Oxford Merchant, an old song with some of the odd expressions used by those old people still to be found around from people from New Hampshire. As the playing a true Hampshire bite or kind of a nasty trick. <coughs> In Oxford there lived a merchant by trade. He had for his servants a man and a maid. A true Hampshire lad he had for his man all for to do his business. His name it was John Laddie Tell I day. Tell I do, laddie, laddie, tell I day. One morning quite early he called upon John, and Johnny heard his master and quickly did run. Oh, take this cow and drive her to the fair, for she's in good order, and her I can spare, laddie, tell I day. Tell I do, laddie, laddie, tell I day. So Johnny took the cow, and away he did go. He drove her to the fair as far as I do know. Before the day was over, he sold her to a man who paid him the chink, which was six pounds ten. Laddie, tell I day, tell I do. Laddie, laddie, tell I day. They went to a tavern for to get a drink. Twas there the tradesman laid down the chink. Johnny turned to the lady and unto her did say, Oh, what shall I do with my money, I pray, laddie, tell I do, tell I day, laddie, laddie, tell I day. Sew it up in your coat lining, the lady did say, for fear you will be robbed along the highway. The highwayman sat behind him, a drinking up his wine, and said he to himself, that money's all mine, laddie, tell I day, tell I do. Laddie, laddie, tell I day. Then Johnny took his leave, and away he did go. The highwayman followed after him as far as I do know. He overtook the lad upon the highway. You're well overtaken, young man, said he. Laddie, tell I day. Tell I do. Laddie, laddie, tell I day. Oh, jump on behind me, oh, jump on and ride. How far are you going, little Johnny replied. About twelve miles as far as I do know, and Johnny jumped the horse back and away he did go, laddie, tell I day, tell I do, laddie, laddie, tell I day. They rode along together till they came to a dark lane, there the highwayman spoke up very plain, deliver up your money without fear or strife. Or in this lonesome valley you lose your pleasant life, laddie, tell I day, tell I do, laddie, laddie, tell I day. So Johnny, seeing there was no time for dispute, came down from the horse without fear or doubt. From his coat lining he pulled the money out, and in the tall grass he strewed it well about, laddie, tell I day, tell I do. Laddie, laddie, tell I day. The highwayman suddenly got down, got down from his horse, and little did he think it was for his loss. For a while he was picking the money that was thrown. Little Johnny jumped his horse back and away he did go. Laddie, tell I day, tell I do. Laddie, laddie, tell I day. The highwayman followed after him and bid him for to stay, but Johnny never minded him and still rode away, and home to his master thus he did bring, horse, saddle, and bridle, and many a fine thing, laddie, tell I day, tell I do, laddie, laddie, tell I day. The servant maid, seeing little Johnny's return, she went and told his master as near as I can learn. The Master came out, and he looked very cross, and said, Have you turned my cow into a horse, laddie, tell I day? Tell I do, laddie, laddie, tell I day. Oh, no, dearest master, your cow I have sold, but be robbed on the highway by a highwayman bold. And while he was picking the money in his purse, all for to, t to make amends, I came off with his horse, laddie, tell I day, tell I do, 
Laddie, laddie, tell lady. The saddlebags were opened and there, as I've been told, 10,000 pounds and silver and gold. A brace of loaded pistols, oh master, I vow, I think for a boy I have well sold your cow, laddie, tell I day, tell I do, laddie, laddie, tell I day. Oh yes, for a boy you have done quite rare, two-thirds of this money you shall have for your share. And as for the villain with whom you had the fight, I think you played him a true Hampshire bite. Laddie, tell I day, tell I do, laddie, laddie, tell I day.